Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope you guys are well and I hope you're having a fantastic day. So today's reading is going to be about messages from your soul family. And to be very honest with you, I was not really feeling this topic. Um, but for some reason, Spirit has told me that this is what needs to be done today. So this is what we're going to do. It is interesting too, because I have been noticing a lot more people coming up here and talking to me about, you know, feeling like they're disconnected from their spiritual team, feeling like they're disconnected from um, their soul family. And maybe this is why this message is so resonant. Also, look, I'm wearing a sweater. It's finally not super, super hot, but um, we do have like a smoke warning. But anyways, um, I was just like trying to ignore this, trying to ignore this topic, but it kept getting louder and louder. So here I am because as a clear audience and as somebody who has like a obligation here to the collective, that's how I see this. This video is obviously important and there's going to be something here for somebody. So um, I'm excited. Well, I guess we'll see. We'll see what pops up here. I'm curious. I'm curious as to why this is so resonant right now. So anyways, we do have three piles to choose from today. Pile number one, we have Yamaya. goddess of the sea, the ocean. Pile number two, we have the little um, dragonfly bracelet. And pile number three, we have the sake cup. I've chose these items specifically for the person who said they wanted more unique items. I hope you're here. I hope you're here. So if you needed more time, you can go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to go ahead and start with pile number one. Hello, pile one. How are you? If you chose Namaya, Yamaya, this is your reading. I'm just gonna go ahead here and connect with your energy. Just give me a second here. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number one who chose the Yamaya ocean goddess? As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything that you continue to do for Pal One. Please keep them safe, protected, and guided. We also ask that we connect with the soul family here, that you guys come forth and give messages to Pal One, who is so eager to receive your messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, some of you could obviously be connected here to ocean, um, like past lives. You might be connected to ocean planets. You might just be connected to the ocean in general. You could be really working with protecting the ocean in some capacity. Maybe you're um, really working with conservation at this time. Someone's name here could be Catherine or Kathy. I feel like there's this energy of feeling caged. You guys are, might be feeling very stuck or caged. And one of the things that is coming through with your soul family is that there's almost like this break free energy coming. So I think if you have been feeling stuck, you're going to see things really start to unfold. Pile number one, please messages from their soul family. I'm also hearing the word mosaic. So your soul family may not look like you, like the people that you in, in, encounter in your soul family. They might not be physically similar to you. There's like this beautiful mosaic of people. Messages from Paul One's soul family. Page of Pentacles. You guys might stumble up across like an online group or a community in person, but I feel online for many of you um, where you're really connecting with like-minded people. Now, my purpose when I created this particular channel was to connect with people who were like-minded to me. This is why I think the growth has been kind of inconsistent, which is totally fine because that wasn't my purpose. But there's something about community. And I think for many of you guys, you're gonna find some kind of community where you feel like you can fit. And for many of you, this will be online. Eight of Wands. There could be a younger earth sign as well coming into your life, especially in the month of August. So this person could be born in August. They could be an August Virgo. They're coming into your life and they're going to be presenting you with a lot of like interesting um, perspectives. So I think you guys are meeting a member of your soul family in real life. Messages from their soul family. Two of Pentacles. One more. Messages from their soul family, please. Two of Swords. Dang. 222 822. We might want to look up angel number 822. If you do do that, please comment below what that means because for some reason that just came to my mind. Pile number one, you've been feeling stuck. You've also been feeling like 
you know, the way that things are unfolding for you on the surface is not necessarily the way that you feel like you need to live your life. Like there's something here about really acknowledging like what is being presented outside is not actually for me. The kind of paradigms of how people are thinking and, and surviving are not for me. And you're not wrong in thinking this. These thoughts are coming to you because this is the truthful way that you feel. Your soul family is saying you feel this way because you're not meant to kind of work within these paradigms. This is why you feel so stuck. Pile number one, please. Messages from their soul family. There is some sort of new career path, I think. Some of you need to study something here as well. My bestie gave me this. Thanks, Emily, if you're watching this. I love you. This says, I let go of perfectionism and embrace my imperfections, knowing that they make me unique and special. For you guys, pile one, your soul family wants you to just realize that, you know, you forcing yourself to try to fit into a specific paradigm here that's not for you is never going to work. Not only that, but it's only going to increase your level of frustration. You're going to start to feel like, well, why am I doing this? Um, and I think very many of your soul family, they're all kind of going through the same realizations right now of like, I don't really want to do this. I don't want to be perfectionist anymore. Some of you need to stop beating yourself up over things. Pile one, please. Messages from this whole family. Thanks. I am in perfect alignment with the universe, effortlessly attracting opportunities and desired outcomes. I love this. I am in perfect alignment. Yeah, you're aligning with, with your soul family on a subconscious level. But I feel like this is going to lead to manifestations here of actually meeting with more of these people, both online, but also for some of you in real life. Um, you're are calling in new energies to you that will surprise you. Like you're going to be very surprised by some of the outcomes of what it is that you're, you're learning, what it is that you're unpacking. We have goddess of dreams, vision, intuition, and re receptivity. Many of you need to start to pay more attention to your dreams because your soul family could be communicating with you in the dream realm. I feel many of you are quite psychic. You could even be prophetic. And this is a beautiful, beautiful thing um, that you are once again being asked to sort of celebrate. You're very special is what I just heard too. And I think your spiritual team and your, your soul family, they want to remind you that, you know, you are part of a broader collective. You're not doing anything by yourself here. The information you're getting, other people are getting as well other members of your soul family. So you're not the only person who's like uncovering and unpacking these great big realizations. We have thought vibrations, resonant choices, signature signals. I think you're able to communicate with these individuals telepathically, honestly. This feels very like telepathic to me. Part of like your connection with your soul family is all about anchoring in um, more psychic awareness. So for you, your soul family could actually be comprised of, you know, very, very psychic people, honestly. Um, and even people who are very connected to the waters um, or even water signs in general. Water and earth is coming through here. Not that I think it matters. I feel like a soul family will probably be made up of every zodiac sign, but I'm getting those like signatures coming through. If you do want to connect more with your soul family as well, one of the things that's being said here um, is to just put it out there, like even start to think about it. Because again, there's something about you being very much able to manifest a lot via vis-a-vis -vis your kind of um, downloads and like your mind. You're really good manifestors. Some of you could have had a significant spiritual event happen between the ages of 22 and 25. I don't know why that's coming through. Pile number one, please. Messages from their soul family. Oh my gosh, wow. We have the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, and integration time. Yeah, I think for many of you guys, you're noticing that your soul family is going through this major activation as well. Um, what's interesting is there's this energy of opening up. There's a lot of divine guidance and enlightenment and self-discovery. And I feel like all of these things combined are what you're sort of working on here. You might want to work with the blue flame, which is a very high vibrational frequency here. There's a lot of like, I guess, higher consciousness and understanding that your soul family has. And they want you to also work with this. 
I tend to work a lot with our um, St. Germain and the Violet Flame, especially when I'm doing Reiki. I feel he comes through a lot, but some of you may want to look into working with the Blue Flame, especially for those of you who feel unsafe to express yourself. We also have the Seven Star Sisters, Birthing Creations, Tapestry of Life and Expression. Yeah, there is definitely a community here. Holy smokes. And I feel like this is one of the things that you're meant to sort of know. You might uh, resonate with Pleiades, by the way. You guys might be Pleiadian starseeds. That could be something that is specific to, to some of you here. And I think if you already um, are, you know, resonant with that, you'll know that. But there's something about community, working with the community. I feel like you, you and your soul family are here to help activate and hold up a broader like level of integrity for everybody on the planet. And it's really beautiful. Okay, I'm going to pull a rune for you. Now, Marnie, Marnie gave, gave me these years ago. Sorry, Marnie, if you're still watching this because I know it hasn't really been on the um, channel because I don't really know how to read runes, but I'm learning. So the only way for me to learn because of the type of learner I am is to just practice. I've always been a very slow learner, but once I grasp something, I get it really well. I have no idea how I have so many degrees here. This is your room. Let me reflect on it. I just keep hearing we're coming. You're not alone. We're coming, we're coming, we're coming. I think some of you are going to be, be surprised here. It's funny here too, because this is, I believe, the ruin of the right path. There's something here about needing to address, continuing to push forward. The journey is yours. And there's a collective right path that you guys are all following together. There's a sense of order coming through as well. Everything's happening in exactly the right time. Um, now I'm getting travel for some reason coming through with this, this rune as well. So some of you could need to travel. There's also um, cosmic order, like a divine order here that Spirit's wanting to talk about. Increased communication. Um, and again, I'm getting most of that being online. I'm also hearing that phrase, we ride at dawn, okay? So some of you could really feel very connected to your soul family, specifically in the morning. You have a very noble soul and your soul family is also no, equally as noble is another thing coming through. So that's what I have, pile one. Interesting, very interesting reading. This is a powerful group already. I feel like you guys are already feeling, you know, like you know that there's some sort of a bigger journey here i can feel that you know this your your spiritual team knows this as well and so does your soul family let me put that over there hello pal too how are you if you chose this cute little dragonfly bracelet then this is your reading welcome i hope you're well I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there as i connect with your energy so spirit can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number two who chose the dragonfly bracelet. Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile number three, pile number three, pile number two, some of you may need to watch pile three, so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything that you continue to do. I ask that you continue to keep pile number two protected, guided, and supported throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. We love and appreciate you so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm hearing better things are on the horizon. So for this particular soul family, I think you guys have been going through a lot. Um, you might be very sensitive to sound, I'm hearing sound baths. You need to be very cautious of what music you're listening to as well, because for you guys, it is very like um, significant. 
Be careful if you're drinking alcohol. Um, I think some of you guys are more uh, sensitive than others. And also like, don't be afraid to do things by yourself is another message coming through. I feel like you feel like solo, like sometimes you need that additional solo time, solo trip, solo travel. Someone's name here could be Sabrina or Sabine. Beautiful name. Pound number uh, two, please. What do we need to know? Messages from their soul family. Five of Pentacles and the devil. Yeah, you guys have not had an easy path. Your soul family is acknowledging this. I think for many of you guys, you've come here with a lot of anxiety. You've come with negative past life patterns. You've come with toxicity, these heavy, heavy energies. And a lot of what you're trying to learn how to do going forward is elevating past these limitations that were placed on you either in childhood or in past lives. You should be very proud of yourself for doing the work that you're doing. And you're getting better. You're getting better. And your soul family is acknowledging this. We have the Eight of Swords. The Lion's Gate portal here could be important. The Sun, dang, yeah, 8-8. Eight, eight. Those of you who are watching this as I'm filming this, the Lion's Gate portal could be very crucial here for you. Some of you could be born in August or be Leo Suns or Capricorn Suns, Moons or Risings. There could also be important people coming into your life that is a Leo or a Capricorn. These are members of your soul tribe. You're definitely being asked here to just pay close attention to moving towards what makes you feel guided and more supported and happy, especially with that sun card. It's like you're leaving this devil energy and you're going towards the sun. There's so much happy, happiness and your soul family is really proud of you for doing the work. Call number two, please. Messages from their soul family. Messages from their soul family for pal two, please. Oh my gosh, I love this. Yeah, I mean, it makes perfect sense to me. I recognize that the quality of my life is a direct reflection of my qual of the quality of my habits. I'm working on implementing positive habits every day. This is beautiful because with the devil card here too, I feel like there's almost like recreating a healthier routine for you. You're trying to work on, you know, what can I do to really fix this and become more aligned, um, both inner alliance, but also external alliance as well. Some of you need to fix, fix your shit is essentially what's coming through here. What else, please? I love this. I release any negative self-judgments and replace them with love, compassion, and acceptance. Some of you, I think, have struggled with addictions. You've maybe struggled with um, energies around just feeling very, very, like, trapped. And one of the things that's coming through here from your spiritual team is that they're very proud of you for all of the work that you've put in here. And your soul family is continuing to support you as you um, make moves towards bigger and better things. So you are very much being protected as you transition here into the highest version of yourself and your soul family is eagerly awaiting you on the other side what else here messages from their soul family oops we got a flipper okay we have archangel panuel hope optimism and new beginnings yeah many of you guys are going to start to experience more money more um health more wellness more thriving you're just going to start to feel like I have my shit together and this feels so good to me. We also have wisdom of the Magi with mental clarity. As you work on yourself, you're going to start to feel a lot of clarity coming in. I also want to say, I feel like many of you guys are incredibly intuitive, more intuitive than I think you realize. Um, and you and your soul family are really all about overcoming difficulties. This is not an easy soul family but it's a very transformative one. And you, there's a lot of, like a lot of benefits on the other side here. Call number two, please. Messages from their soul family. We have wait. It's not yet time. Things are being woven. For those of you who feel lonely, you feel sad, you feel like, why are things not working out for me? There's a divine purpose behind the timing of it. Um, check yourself too, okay? Like in the meantime, if you feel like nothing's working out for you, check yourself. How can you work on elevating yourself? making yourself feel better, and um, working on your health, mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional. What else? We have perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out in common ground. Some of you might need to wear black or darker colors here in order to help protect you. But also, I think that this is saying, like, if you're currently experiencing some sort of a big problem, um, overall, it's not important. 
I think you have starseed origins here too because I'm noticing how small earth looks. So you might feel very like, how do I put this? Like foreign being here, you know, like you don't feel like you quite fit in and spirit is acknowledging that. They're very proud of you. Very, very proud of you is what I feel. Everything that you've done, Mm -hmm. Everything that you've done is just really helping you to see things differently. And you are going to be surprised at how good things get for you. Okay, I'm going to pull a rune. Now, full disclosure, I'm just learning how to do these. A client gave these to me years ago. and They've just been sitting here. It's time for me to start activating them, is what Spirit has said. This is your rune. Let me tap in here. Some of you are definitely working with um, Lion energy because I keep feeling Lion energy around you. Watch what happens on 8-8 eight, eight, and definitely keep your emotions um, and your energy high between now and then. If you're watching this when I'm releasing it, of course. This is the room of the ancestors, Othala, I believe. Part of your actual ancestral heritage and your soul family are linked. And this is not the case for everybody, but for you guys, I do feel like you've had ancestors incarnate into this specific um, soul family. So you might feel very connected to your ancestors or they could be very supportive of you at this time. But the Othala rune, I'm hearing homeland, you guys, homeland. Some of you may need to return somewhere. You will eventually end up connecting with um, your, your, your soul family. There could even be like a specific travel place that you go that makes you feel like, oh my gosh, I feel so connected right now. A lot of what you're doing here is also to help create Heaven on earth is what I'm hearing. You might even, oh, this is going to sound crazy, but I have to say it. Some of you might end up like living in a communal home. I'm also feeling wealth for some reason coming through with this particular room. So some of you could be, you know, really getting ready to experience a lot of wealth coming through. And this could be part of your soul family's purpose as well as to acquire wealth so that you can create changes. Part of the reason that you're here is to help restore the planet to its harmonious and sustainable state. And I think in order to do this, you have to tackle a lot of inner wounds first. And your soul family is really proud of you for the work that you've been doing. So yeah, that's what I have. Oh my gosh, what a reading. Um, I hope you are well, pile number two. Very powerful energy. I'm proud of you, by the way, for all the work that you've done. I know that you have not had an easy um, go of things. I know, I know I can feel it. So I just wanted to say I'm proud of you. Pile three, how are you? If you chose the sake cup, this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well. Such a pleasure and an honor to connect with you. Just going to go ahead and tap right into your energy so that I'm best able to channel. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of Paul number three who chose the sake cup? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for Paul three so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. I ask that you continue to keep Paul three safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. We do love and appreciate you so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm hearing take the glasses off, take the glasses off. I don't know if you guys have been, um, you know, wearing rose colored glasses. You may also need to like literally just change your glasses, like get a stronger prescription. I know some of you in this group feel helpless. Your soul family has been going through very much of the same energy. You're all working on um, tackling some of the more intense energy. And through tackling it, you're, you're kind of transmuting it at the same time. 
you're not here to be compliant, by the way. I feel like that's also coming through. You're not here to do things similar to other people. You're here to effect great changes. So stop being compliant. This is a very powerful, your soul family doesn't take much shit at all. I'm just going to say that. They do not take shit. <laughs> okay. So just be aware of that. Okay, pile number three, please. Someone's name here could be Megan, Maggie. There's a lot of M names coming through here. Pile number three, please. Messages from their soul fam, the Hierophant. Some of you are breaking free of like outmoded um, religion, you know, old ways of thinking and being. You're just no longer in that energy. Like you're kind of looking at how you can create something different for yourself going forward. I feel many of you are here to change something about um, the way that you're seeing things, belief systems. You could even be here to create a new belief system or method of manifestation. Six of Cups. The Four of Cups. The Four of Swords. You need more sleep, Pile 3. I also feel some of you have been very heavily like disenchanted with the way that you were brought up and the way that you were raised. For instance, you may be looking at things and kind of asking yourself like, you know, why did I have to do things in this particular way? How can I do things differently? There's just this energy of like deciding I no longer want to continue to do this in this kind of way. I want to change. If you have been feeling tired, rest. If you have been feeling frustrated, let yourself feel those emotions. Don't push them aside. Your soul family is really um, wanting you to know that they're supporting you heavily. Heavily. They love you a lot. And there's this energy of like, um, you guys need to almost gather your strength for bigger things to come. Especially for those of you who have been going through like letting go of old beliefs, patterns, even religions, ways you were brought up and raised. I think for this group, you had a lot of like restriction placed upon you where you could have from a young age, but you're actually meant to be very multifaceted. You are 100% not meant to be um, stuck. What else here, Spirit? Ooh, I love this. I effortlessly attract increasing amounts of money from multiple sources. I joyfully embrace the abundance that flows into my life. Yeah, you guys are also meant to be creators and your soul family is asking for you to not feel afraid to share the truth of what it is that you need to be creating. One of the things I'm most feeling here is like how amazingly strong you are and how you are meant to be experiencing so much um, money in abundance, but through like very like multiple streams of income. So for you, your soul family is also out there doing the same thing. You guys are working with like, how can I get to the next level? How can I create this wealth that I want? And it's a really beautiful energy to work with. We have every day I become more spontaneous and playful. I allow myself to fully embrace and live the best version of my life. Yeah, for those of you who have been feeling frustrated and angry and just like really repulsed by the state of the world, I don't blame you, A. And B, one of the things I want you to know is like you're going to be going through a major shift in terms of seeing things from a different perspective more fun is coming into your life and your soul family they don't want you to forget to enjoy your life um they're going to be bringing you in more lightness and i think as you interact and attract more members of your soul family too that's also going to become a lot more clear what else here we have confusion many choices uncertainty and we have emotional desert inactivity and isolation some of you have been isolating from, you know, other people. You've been really in your own energy. Some of you could have had a major um, awakening when you were quite young. A 
especially I'm kind of feeling around the age of like between 10 to 15. There could have been a lot of like downloads coming through, specifically around activating and realizing and seeing things more clearly. And also psychic gifts, frustration, anger, and rage. I feel like your soul family is acknowledging that these could have been things you're struggling with. You're coming out of this very long cycle for many of you, and you're kind of stepping into a period of more income, more fun, more playfulness as well. But your team, your soul family, they want you to know like if you've been by yourself, that's okay too. You need to give yourself that space. File number three, please. Messages from their soul family. We have Star Keeper. Cosmic ancestors see the light by staying grounded. Um, trigger warning, but I don't know if some of you have had thoughts of, you know, perhaps um, suicide or suicidal ideations over the years. Okay, I just have to say this. But your soul family is saying and asking you kindly to please stay grounded. Stay here. Stay on. Stay earth side. Because there is a purpose. And I think things are about to improve for you dramatically. And I don't want to see you walking away before you have the opportunity to see these tremendous blessings. You also have an ancestor who was part of your soul family. You could have felt very connected to them. What else here? We have forged, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. Yeah, especially for those of you who have broken away from maybe more restrictive ways of um, seeing things, more restrictive like... Uh, modalities around religion etc part of you again it's like you're here to bring in a new level of thinking of things a new level of seeing things and interacting with the world at large and this is a very beautiful energy you're not here to be a follower you guys are here to be leaders okay i'm gonna pull a rune marnie gifted these to me two years ago i haven't really used them but for some reason i feel called to start interacting with them more and learning them so you might need to be patient with me Okay, this one, this immediately looks like two little mountains to me. Let me tap in. Climb, keep climbing, keep, keep climbing, you're getting closer. You are getting closer. I feel like there's this need to remember to just keep on going. Part of what you're here to do is going to help tremendously with humanity helping humanity to get to the next level i'm hearing change change i think this is the runa vercano change secrets new beginnings birth is also coming through some of you may um maybe getting ready to birth something. This could be uh, a baby, obviously, but it could also be a project, a new, a new version of yourself as well, right? That's really important. Renewal, I keep feeling renewal um, around you guys as well. Your soul family wants you to know that you will become a lot more renewed than where you've currently been. Safety plants as well you're very protected pile number three i want you to know that as well 33 33 on the clock but you're about to receive some sort of a rebirth in your spirit and also you're going to be able to pull something into the the world here bringing a new idea into fruition as well there's something about feeling more aligned. So yes, that's what I have. I'm sending you a big hug. Lots of love to you, my friends. Have a great day. I feel like the boys are awake now. Um, we'll talk later. Bye-bye.